So you're kind of like the Energizer Bunny from my perspective. You really are. You, you are one of the most consistent human beings that I've ever encountered when it comes to just routine and attitude and enthusiasm. Um, and you love what you do, which obviously helps. Um, but you truly do kind of have this, um, this uh, real positive, positive bent about you. And I think it makes it a little bit easier for you to do some of the things that you're talking about. So mm-hmm. what would you say to the person that, that struggles a little bit with that positive bend and doesn't have kind of that energy or that, that confidence or that ability to go out there and, you know, yeah. live the Arete, uh, you know, way every right. day. What would you say to them? I really believe this. I believe it's all in how you talk to yourself. I really do believe that. I think that, you know, I've been through hard times and you know, some of the things I've been through in my life and as hard as they were and, as dark as they, some of them were in my life, I still was able to say to myself, you're going to get through this. Mm-hmm. It's going to be okay. Great days are ahead. You know, just, just continue to plod every day. Make the right decisions every day moving forward. I believe that. Mm-hmm. And I would tell myself that. And the way a person talks to themselves will impact eventually the way mm-hmm. they see everything around them. Mm-hmm. It's a discipline to it where is. it becomes reflexive. Mm-hmm. You become reflexively positive. I don't mean reflexively idealistic, where you're kind of in la-la land, not really being real. I mean positive. To me, an optimistic person <laughs> is a person who sees things the way they really are, but not worse than they are. Mm-hmm. Right? That's good. And, and, and because of that, I'm able then to also see how it can still become. And so I don't stick my head in the sand to to the realities of what's going on in my life. But I, that doesn't mean I don't still see that it's going to be better. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You do. So that's it. I, I really do try to continually speak positive things in my life. You're reading a book right now that's kind of it lends itself to this, yeah. right? What is, what is the book? You Are the Placebo. You Are the Placebo yeah, by it's fascinating. Uh, Joe Dispenza. It's f- right. And, and really, right even though I know you're talking to me here, but... What's the gist of the book as far as you go? What's he talking about in that book? What is he trying to say? Just the power of the mindset, you know, the mind-body connection, the power of the mindset over your attitude, how it, you know, it really transforms it. It's you are what you tell yourself you are. That's right. In many ways. And and it translates into disease process and, you know, in every aspect of a person's Um, well-being. But there's studies that really show, you know, the the power of the placebo effect. And, uh, you know, it's really been enlightening to me. It's really made me think about things differently regarding myself, regarding my son. You've even said sometimes, oh, I I need to not think this way or talk Mm -hmm. this way so Mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Right. And you've caught yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're going to be on this kind of (laughs) perpetual high. But, you know, our bodies are (laughs) this amazing chemical producing machine. And what you think and how you think releases different chemicals. And so for me, by being so optimistic, it releases these chemicals that energize me. And I truly get up every day and I'm ready. I'm ready for the day. I'm ready to, and I've got my routine. I get up in the morning. I start off with my coffee. I've got, I I get into my study. I Mm -hmm. do my reading. I do my devotional, right? I spend my time. I try to do my prayer time and then I get into my day. Mm -hmm. And now I, I, I tackle my responsibilities. 